Richard Haas speaking to you from Studio K308 at Covenant Woods in Mechanicsville, Virginia. Today we're going to talk about finding books at the Covenant Woods Library. So stick around and we'll get right to it. computer may be sleeping when you first approach it, wiggle the mouse and this home screen should appear. In case it doesn't appear, what will is the logo showing the software. Uh, click, Double click this logo and that will bring you to this home screen as soon as the uh, program reopens. We're now going to talk about finding books by a particular author. This screen you're looking at in front of you is the way you'd normally find the library computer. It's listing all books, and they happen to be right now sorted alphabetically by title. We can tell that by looking for the little green arrow here. It's pointing downwards, which means we're going to go from A to Z. If we wanted to see books from Z to A, click on title again and it turns them the other way around. We're now looking at Z to A. Well, if we want to find a particular author, we can move over here and click Author, and the books are now listed alphabetically by author. The slow, tedious way to find what you're looking for, and by the way, there's no author listed for these first books. Those are reference books and uh, non-fiction books where you don't have a particular author. However, once we get down towards the bottom of the page, we see that the authors start with AA, and they'll, as we scroll with our mouse, they'll work their way up through the alphabet and end up with the Zs. Well, this is kind of a hard way to, there's over 3,000 books in the library. Look at the lower left corner, 3,167 books in the library, with this the listing is of all books. If we knew the author's name started with a Z, well then we could just click on here again and change so that the authors now go from Z to A, and if we knew that Colleen Zuck is the one that we wanted to find, that's a pretty quick, easy way to find Colleen Zuck's books. But the, uh, we were probably going to want to find an author with a specific name, and we don't want to have to scroll down through all these books. So I look under search by at the top here, and it says author. Notice that I just click in that box, and I have a whole selection of choices that I can look for. We're only going to talk about author today, but uh, everything we say about author works as well for the other criteria. So we're selecting author, and the next box to the right is where we type in the author's name. Well, this particular day, I want to find an author whose name starts with an R. Uh, the uh, name is Rikes, Kathy Rikes. Um, she's one of my favorite authors. I want to find a book by her to read. So I click in that box that says four, and I start to type Rikes, R. Well, it begins with the author's names, starting with R, and then I go R-E-I-C-H-S. And down at the bottom is Kathy Reichs, already highlighted by the computer. It's not necessary for me to do anything with the mouse. The name is already highlighted. I just hit the Enter button, and up pop 10 books by Kathy Reichs. Notice in the lower left corner, search return 10 books. If you counted, you would find out that there are 10 there. I guarantee it. I'm not going to bother counting right now. So here are the books by Kathy Reichs. They're all written by the same author. If I, if the, it could be a, an author who's written hundreds of books, if we want to find a particular title, we just click the title arrow. Now they're alphabetically listed by title. And you can read the rest of the information and find out what you want to know about uh, this book. If you click the green arrow next to that particular row, and here's Kathy Reichs wrote Death Du Jour. 
Well, I'm going to click the green arrow next to death du jour and a complete uh, description of the book, even a picture so it's easy to find, will show up and I can read about death du jour. If I want to get back to that list, I would click on the home button and it would take me back to the list where all the books are still, uh, still listed. And I can go down these green arrows and look at each particular book, find out what I want to know, make a choice, go get the book. Click on home again, we're back to the list. Had I not clicked on the green arrow, but instead clicked on the title of the book, then that only, only that book is now described. And we get the information we want to look at, but we've lost the list. The only way we can get the list is to go back up and click the search button again. We'll get the same books. And round and around it goes. Notice the location. These are mystery books. They're in the M section. One of them is large print. It says yes under the large print column. It's in the LPM, large print mystery section. If I wanted to read Bones to Ashes, I would have a little problem because Gordon Calkins has still got that book checked out. I can see the date he took it out and have a guess as to when it might come back and so on and so forth. We have now found the books that we're looking for and that is how we find books, the Covenant Woods Library. Before you leave the computer, please click on all books and walk away and leave the computer just like that. And it'll be ready for the next person. Have a great day. This has been a lot of fun. I don't rightly know his real name, but I've heard him called the Lone Ranger. <laughs>